I would go outside of the law and talk a bit of politics and nation building. I humbly hold a view that as a political class, we owe a duty to ensure the peace of the country and strengthen the pillars of democracy. We can only do so if we respect the law and act in a manner that the citizen would have confidence in us. We have three weeks to go for an election, more or less. I think that the peace of parliament is entirely in the hands of Mr. Speaker. If you follow the chronology of events, um, Mr. Speaker could have done better. Considering the fact that even before initiating this action, I had gone to him to discuss the fact that Honorable Harun Idrisu had raised the matter on a political platform and the fact that we should come together Can and deal with the matter. Answer? He assured me that he would guide the process. Uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. I eventually had to file the writ upon seeing the petition of Mr. Idrisu to be argued on the House floor. I again, he again went to Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Speaker, now that you have knowledge of this petition by uh, Honorable Harry Nedruzo, does that mean that you are going to uh, take a step? He said no. The application by Harry Nedruzo would have to be admitted by him first, and that he has not admitted any motion. So I should be rest assured. Then the next stage of serving the writ on the legal directorate. There again, he gave me assurance that because of a certain circular, the directorate could not receive the process until the next Monday. Then I became alarmed when we got onto the house floor. And this time around, the petition from, from Harry Nedrisu was not a matter in issue, but rather, Honorable Atu Forsen was going to invoke or the 93 to make a statement. We said, okay, fair enough, let's see what will happen. I tried to engage my colleagues on the other side. But you see, they were hell bent on the politics they wanted to do that day. And from all the action that he was going to give a ruling on Thursday, when he had assured me that he wasn't going to give a ruling, but because of the court process uh, and all that, it was going to wait so that we all abide by the by the reasoning of the court. Because according to him, the matter was a constitutional matter. Announced that he has received the ruling of the Supreme Court and explain the content of it. How else were they expecting the announcement to be made? Unless they are conniving, unless there is collusion, and Mr. Speaker wants to act as though he is not supporting what the NDC side is doing. But clearly, indeed, he's supporting them actively and constructively. Because you come into the chamber as the head of the assembly, you see one group of uh, people sitting in somebody's on somebody's seat, and you pretend you've not seen it. You've destroyed them and rather spin it, spin it to say that the majority that called for the recall had refused to be present in the chamber, to be in the chamber to sit where. Now, some people have been saying that the majority leader should have at least been in the chamber to make his point. My brothers and my sisters in the media, let's get the facts straight. If I had gone into the chamber, where was I going to stand? The proceedings in parliament include the need to be recognized by Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker can only recognize you through your name tag. It's in our rules book. You need to stand at your place. That is what the law says in Parliament. You must stand at your place and rise. Rise at your place. And get recognized. My seat has been taken by Dr. Foster. Where should I stand as majority leader? So for those who are making who were making those arguments, they didn't understand the proceedings of Parliament. And for anybody to suggest that the majority was not reaching out, was not building consensus, that person, that person 
was really getting it wrong. Because for a whole week, I know of prominent chiefs, very prominent and respected chiefs, who engaged my side and engaged Mr. Speaker and transmitted some communication to me. I won't mention their names. They transmitted some communications to me that Mr. Speaker was in fact even going to convey Parliament without our recall application. Confirmed that Mr. Speaker said he wanted to meet us. Our phones are on. Mr. Speaker has several ways of reaching out to me, either directly by his call or his aides. My, my phone is on. I have not received any call. I am a centrist politician. I am a moderate politician. I am not an extremist. I believe in consensus building. Those who know me in parliament know how I do my politics. I don't just jump the gun. I don't just get up to say things. MPP in parliament is bleeding. We have gone through too much hell in the hands of Mr. Speaker. We just don't talk about it. We've managed the situation for far too long. And at this point, we would call on him, Mr. Speaker, that let us end the aid parliament on a very happy and a very good note. Let's work together. And I want to also address a matter of importance to you, the media. Describing the MPP majority as the MPP caucus. Stop describing me as the leader of the MPP caucus. As part of your journalism, your job is to follow the law, to disseminate right information. This matter came up in the court. And I beg of you, it doesn't matter your political affiliation or how you feel as a media house. Do justice to the issue. The speaker made the pronouncement. He has turned around to say he didn't rule. He only expressed an opinion. You have a court of competent jurisdiction. Which court Mr. Speaker himself subjected himself to its authority and jurisdiction? He came to challenge the first ruling. The court ruled upon after argument by his counsel. And finally, the court said, no way. Your ruling, your determination of the matter must stay. What else? Any media house who needs clarification must seek clarification as a reporter. There have been two rulings confirming that. So don't continue to describe me yes. as leader of MPP. Is that okay? Don't tell the public that I am claiming and that you don't know what it is. Unless you don't know why you are doing court reports. I know why I'm doing court reports. No, no, no. So can you clarify? Yeah, but I've mentioned it clearly. That what? That what? That what? That you are the leader of the MPP of the House. And even the Speaker of Parliament. No, no, no. It's not a question. I like that I'm going to